Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a general weekly love reading for the zodiac sign Libra. You could have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, okay? Or you could just be attracted to this title. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome. Uh, you could be dealing with a Libra, or you could just be attracted to this title. Now, I will try my best to focus on love. Nevertheless, um, if something needs to come out, then it will come out, okay? In fact, I might be changing these to say just weekly readings because a lot of other stuff is coming through, not just about love, okay? Um, please keep in mind, these are general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If it's not your story, please do not try to make it fit. Additionally, everything is subject to free will, your free will, and anyone you are energetically connected to, as well as the will of the divine. No one is free from the law of cause and effect, okay? This will be for the week of April 26th through the 5th of May, 2021, okay? Two more shuffles. One and two. Okay, here we go. Taking from the top. Libra. All right, Ace of Cups. Okay, Queen of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. So far, so good. Okay, and the World Card in Reverse. Okay. So you might be wanting to offer, bottom of the deck, we got the Four of Wands, okay? And wish fulfillment here, but is it wish fulfillment? Okay, so let's take a look at this. So the Ace of Cups talks about new love, new romance coming in, okay? You might be either giving an offer to a water sign, doesn't matter your gender, gender identity, preferences, orientation, okay? You might be giving a, a cup of, or you might have a new love offer coming in from a water sign, a Cancer or Pisces, or you might be trying to offer new love um, to a water sign. Also, you're offering stability or new growth or planting new seeds, okay? This could be something from the past that has not finished out, or you never stopped loving this person. Or this person never stopped loving you. So there's new love here with the water sign coming in. Also stability as well. An offer of commitment or a new job. You might meet this person at work possibly. But a cycle hasn't ended. I feel like this is somebody you already know. Show me the Ace of Cups please. Why is the Ace of Cups here? For my Libras. Okay. These you do not read in reverse. Okay. So we have the gentleman here. Ace of Cups again. And this one's next. Then you have Flowers. And then you have cross, okay? So you might meet this person at church, okay? Someone might be coming towards you, Libra, because you also have the, the lady, okay? Lady of swords, so that's you, okay? To offer you something. It could be somebody from the past they want to make right for something, for some type of suffering that they caused in the past, possibly. Or you want to do this for someone. Show me the... So uh, there's a man or, you know, again, gender doesn't matter. A person is coming towards you to make an offer to bring clarity towards you. It might be very difficult or to, to bring some type of offer of love or instability because of something of a burden or a crisis that they caused in the past that they thought they had victory over. But I feel like somebody's trying to come to you and offer you an apology possibly or love. Okay. Show me the queen of cups, please. Or you're doing this for someone. You might be... You might be offering an apology to someone, sorry. Okay, we have the bear here. So it's a burden. It also could be a financial issue. You might be asking somebody for money or so, or someone's asking you for money. You want to make sure that you're fair here, okay? You don't want to create more of a burden. Or you feel like this person is a burden to you. Or they put, or you've put a burden on them. Possibly a very strong financial burden. And maybe, okay, maybe they've loaned you money in the past and now you're trying to make good on that and return what they gave to you. You can't complete out this cycle until you've returned what, what you, that you borrowed from them. Or maybe this is someone who's coming in to offer that towards you because of what they borrowed from you. Show me the Ace of Pentacles, please. Why is this here? Okay, the Fox, okay. Okay, all right, you might need to have boundaries against somebody trying to come in. Okay, someone might be coming in just for money purposes and abuse of power. Yeah, okay, there's a water sign, a Cancer or a Pisces who might be coming back in to 
to take money from you. So be mindful. Put up proper boundaries, financial boundaries as well. Um, someone might be deceptive. Um, also, it says beware of old traps. So from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very strongly here. They might be trying to offer you love, but they're really trying to get to, to your pocketbook or your wallet. They're deceiving you. That's why old trap. This is There's an old trap here that the cycle hasn't completed. Show me the world reverse, please. Someone's offering you. Um, they're saying they're offering you love, but they're coming for your money. Show me the world reverse. Or you're doing this towards somebody. Yep. Love. They're going to try to pull at your heartstrings in order to get this money from you. So be mindful of that. You need to have proper boundaries. They're deceiving you. They're, they're just trying to deceive you emotionally um, and to get an offer from you or to get money from you. Yeah, they're, they're definitely trying to pull on your heartstrings because they know how you feel about them. But in order, but it's, it's just for money. It's deceptive. Okay. Anything else? Show me the Ace of Cups, please. Yeah, status, Taurus energy. Yeah, someone might be coming in to basically mooch off of you, okay, or you them, but I get strongly someone else, okay. They're, they're going to put a financial burden on you. Yeah, decision. They're playing games here, Gemini energy. They're trying to make they're trying to make a, a decision. They want status, and they see that you're abundant here. Um, they're coming in to take that from you. They're they're making a decision to try to be very strategic in how they go about doing. They're going to be deceiving you for money. They're going to pull at your heartstrings and try to get money from you. All right, okay, yeah. So they're going to use seduction, Pisces energy. Very well, could be doing with a Pisces or a Gemini or a Taurus. Okay. Or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They might even try to tug at the heartstring about children as well. Show me, um, show me the world reverse. Tell me more. Yep. Risk, Aries energy. They want you to take a risk with your heart and your finances because they're they're trying to deceive you and use use seduction to get money from you. This could very well be a third party scenario because we got two here and one makes three and then we got three and then 12 breaks down to make three so this could be a third party trying to come in to mess with you to pull at your heartstrings in order to get money they're being very strategic they're playing a lot of games anything else yeah bluff okay no they're three yeah they're lying to you gemini energy okay show me the queen of cups please show me the queen of cups please Yep, restlessness. They want you to make a very quick decision because they're trying to seduce you. They're trying to get money out of you, though. All right, show me the Ace of Okay. Yep, riches, Capricorn energy. They're trying to seduce you. With, either they're trying to seduce you with money to get you or they're trying to seduce you to get money from you. All right, show me the world reverse. They want you to take a risk with them. They're risking, they're risking your heart. Or if you were to mess with them, you'd be risking your heart. Anything else about this world reverse, please? The world reverse, please. Oh, yep. Inspiration, Pisces energy. They've got a yeah. They they might come in and try to inspire you um, to be risky. Another three, another three here. Completion. Okay. They want. They might come in and try to inspire you sexually or emotionally to try to or in a, like a lustful way in order to get your money. They want you to be reckless and. Um, take a risk with them and risk your heart for them, but they're just they're playing games here They're playing mind games with you strong Pisces energy here very very strong They're still married and they're still in some form of commitment or contract. They're trying to offer you some type of commitment Or wish fulfillment, but they're lying to you Okay, they're deceiving you and they're just gonna leave you like this um, With a lot of anxiety mental torque can't sleep it because they're very non-committal um, don't be foolish here. Don't be reckless or careless with your communication. You won't get a return on your investment here, but they'll they'll keep feeding you false hope, though, if you allow them to, if that makes sense. They'll keep feeding you um, bullshit, basically. Anything else about this Ace of Cups, please? Um, anything else about this reading? Let's see. Okay. Taken from the top. Yeah, they're at, they're all, yeah, they're they're after your money. Yep, that's what they want. They want unexpected joy around money. They want to get money from you. 
Yep. And this is what they're, they're, what's on their mind is nothing but money and to take from you. Yep. And this will create a lot of deep sadness for you if you were to risk your heart or be inspired to risk your heart. Or they might come to you with a, like a sob story. About how much they love you, but it, it's, it's a con. It's a, it's a game here. Yep. Communicating about money. Yep, they might want to offer marriage or some form of commitment, but it's for money. Yep, misfortune. Yep, if you, they're thinking that they can take from you and cause some type of tower moment or some type of misfortune. Yep, and you'll be sad about money. They're, they might bring you a sob story about their finances. So be mindful of that, people who come towards you about what's going on with their finances. Um, I feel like they're just trying to get one over on you, if that makes sense. All right, let's see. Sorry. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the thief. So the liar and the thief here. Cheat too. Anything else? They're coming to take from you, not to add to you. Anything else, please? All right, let me. Or you're doing this towards them. All right, let me. You don't read these in reverse. Let's see. All right. Yep, courtship. They're going to offer you courtship and communicate uh, about love and getting back together and working things out, but it's for money. Yep, there's secrets here, secret communications with their family or with somebody else that they're trying to, they're trying to run a con on you. Yep, they might say, oh, I'm looking for work, but I haven't found it yet. I'm very misfortunate in finding work right now. Yep, they think you're a wealthy man or a wealthy woman. They're trying, they're, they're, they're just going to take and leave from you. They're not really going to give anything to the situation, if that makes sense. All right, let's see. Any guidance, please, for my Libras and or cross watchers regarding this reading? Swan. A tranquil spirit comes with accepting inner dichotomy, so balancing that out. You are the scale, so balancing yourself. Be rock steady, okay, when this person comes back around. Build it bearded vulture let outward deeds and in and, and, and words match inner feelings if they're like a yeah they're like a vulture they're just trying to take from you um ruby thirded hummingbird take courage and the world will reward you with bounty yeah you're getting your up and comings like you're being awarded abundance here and they see this and they want it um renew the bonds of true friendship and remember their importance yeah there's that's what they're going to try to come in um, but they, to offer you, but the spirit wants you to see things from a higher perspective about what this person is about. Anything else, please? Secretary uh, Burr says, be rid of your enemies. Yep. This person is not your friend or your real love mate. Um, Southern cassowary spread seeds of love and creativity and see them blossom. Yeah, that's what they see. They see that you, they see that you're what you're growing and they want a part of it, but they're, they're not, they're just coming to take, not to offer anything to bring balance or any form of stability towards you. They're just coming to take anything else, please. Honey guide, uh, benefit from the harvest of knowledge and sustenance that cooperation brings. Yeah, that's what they're going to try to come in and ask for, um, is, for your abundance that you've worked for because they see it they're watching it and they want a part of it okay then we have uh roman tough goose take heed of those who would give warnings yeah this reading is a warning to you pay attention to those red flags this person is deceiving you for money that's what they want they want to take from you they're not really offering you anything in return to be honest so protect your finances, okay? Your purse, your wallet, protect your heart as well. This person will try to seduce you. Or, you know, cross watcher, this could be something you're experiencing from a Libra. Anything else for my uh, guidance from a Libra's and our cross watchers, please? Don't let them play you. Confidence is the key to your success, new moon and Leo. Anything else for guidance, please? Emotions are running high, super moon. Yeah, this might happen around the super moon, which is on the 26th, and it's 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 in Scorpio. Have faith in your dreams. I feel like this person might try to guilt trip you really hard. Believe in the impossible. If you don't give them what they want, they might try to guilt trip you really hard. Yep. Meditate and contemplate new moon and Pisces. There could be a Pisces that's still dealing with the Leo. Or they could have Leo and Pisces in their chart or vice versa. Um, look at the bigger picture here. Full moon and Sagittarius. Um, a personal issue reaches resolution. 
don't let your pride get in the way. They might say that you're prideful if you don't help them out for something. Um, don't let your past hold you back. Yeah, don't. Mm -mm. And then adjustments are required. Absolutely. So yeah, prosperity lies ahead. New minotaurs. That's what they see. That's what they want from you. Is they to take from your abundance. Okay. All right, Libras. I hope this has helped you. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, please take care of yourself. Until next time.